just cling. You're immune right? to I the know. plague. I swear they go through that. Well, how old are the kids? Uh, I've got a 16-year-old, a 15-year-old, a 7, almost 8-year-old, and then the twins will be 5. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah, so his house is never That's clean. a wide range of ages. <laughs> well, I got a 21-year-old, but she doesn't live with us. She's out in oh, Philadelphia. Oh, my yeah. gosh, you're busy. No, I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> Not so busy anymore. <laughs> Not with all them kids in the house. Oh, man. <laughs> Hi, Cass. I'm glad you made it tonight. Hi. Hi. It's Monday night. Monday. It's the worst day ever. I was just telling John we were Snapchatting. I was like, oh, by the way, John's coming yeah. over. And you're like, oh, let oh. me go put on regular clothes. Let me like, put my pants back on. <laughs> I got PJs. That wasn't being recorded about that, was it? Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. We just started off like this. That's it. That's Meredith it. Meredith likes to start and not tell people. That, hey, I told you, fine. this is just, uh, we just do it organically and natural. That's it. So please tell us who you are, where you're coming from, all that fun stuff. Uh, my name is John Harvey. I own a fiction skate shop in Twin Lakes. We've been there, I, we're in our third year uh, as a, a brick and mortar store. Awesome. Uh, as, as a brand, as a company, me and my best friend in California, we started it back in... Shit, 2014. Oh, wow. Amazing. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, so 10 years ago we started it. We didn't do anything with it because I was still in school and we just had, like, so much going on. But as I started to end my uh, uh, college, I was like, you know what, I'm going to ramp it up and just started getting it going. Moved into nice. a shop. and. <laughs> Have you ever skateboarded before? Hell no. So I, I sent Kevy a message and I said, yeah. do you know John Harvey? And he was like, no, does he know me? I'm like, no, no one knows no. you, Kevy. No, <laughs> well, people may Kevy know was, Kevy. He was a professional skateboarder, yeah. right? He toured. Locally? He toured for a while. What's yeah. his last name? Rourke. Kevin, Kevin Rourke. Rourke. He's been on the pod. He's actually been on both podcasts yeah. a few times. Yeah. And so I asked him if he knew you or if he knew of the, of the, um, of the shop, but he said he didn't. Yeah. It wasn't familiar. I mean, I feel like Kevin hasn't skateboarded in probably 20 years yeah. now. Yeah. He so. still has the calves for it, though. He does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he still knows how. <laughs> I think there's a picture of him and I with our calves. Like, yeah. We've seen who was bigger. He won. He definitely won. Yes. I'll have to check it out. I, I The name doesn't sound familiar, but there's, there's, there's so many. There's YouTube videos, I'm sure. When we come find. check out the shop, we'll bring him with. Because yeah. he'll oh, know cool. all of that. He'll know yeah. all of it. Yeah. I have so many questions. I know nothing about skateboarding. When I was younger, my cousin, now I'm 5'8", my cousin who was five, five. <laughs> <laughs> had this cute little pink skateboard. And when she was done with it, she let me have it. So it was all like wobbly and stuff. And it was one that pointed. It was a pointer. A pointy okay. one. Like a pointy one at yeah. the end. And it yeah. had like a little fishtail on the back. And it was like bright pink. And I was like, this is so cool. No, I hit my head. I fell yeah. and hit my hip. I And that was when I was like 10 years old. So then yeah. I just decided that I wasn't going to be a skateboarder. So I roller skated. <laughs> was it one of those real thin absolutely. plastic ones? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. The one everybody started 80s. out 80s. It was in the 80s. Most yeah. people. I was yeah. lucky. My brother is, let's see, he just turned 50 last year. I'm 43. So he's like seven or eight years older yeah. than me. And he was obviously into skateboarding from uh, uh, Back to the Future. It got a lot of oh. people. You know oh, what I mean? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So With the hoverboard. The hoverboard yeah. and just the, the skateboard where yeah. he'd go riding behind the cars yeah. and stuff. So he gave me one of his old boards when I was like six. So yeah. that's, that's when I started skating and, and doing that. It was with those old 1986 skateboard yes yeah. yeah i know my cousins they have long boards those are cool yeah. i always see them up and down the um the road the road up here yeah i'm tired the road <laughs> <laughs> let me play man i was gonna say like road you. street <laughs> town city all at one time you know me my brain the my streeter. brain the so streeter. do you do tricks and everything me yeah i used to i'm I'm old and it hurts I'm when old. I fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hurts when you fall. It hurts when I fall. Darn so it. I, I try not to fall that much, but yeah. I still go skate and I still try to do some tricks, try to get back into it. But do you do lessons and stuff too at the shop, or is it just for sales? Um, so I've got a uh, a class that I just started doing out of uh, the elementary school in Silver Lake where I live. Oh, oh so, okay. So, yeah, we do free lessons. It's uh, the second Tuesday and the last Tuesday of every month. Is it all ages, or do you have to be between... No, I mean, it's all ages, but... So I can come? It seems you, like maybe the younger ones You come. can. I would question your motives, but... <laughs> Um, no, I'm kidding. I, it, it, we'll, we'll take anybody from any age, but yeah. it, it's geared more towards children. Yeah. I would say anywhere from 
five, six years old up to probably that 12 or 13 year range. Okay. Just for the simple fact that any younger, they don't take instruction as easily as some of the older yeah. kids do. Their attention spans not as, mm. as you know. Yeah. What's the word I'm looking for? Hey, whatever. doesn't matter. Yeah. The, the attention span's just not there. Apparently, I don't have one either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, I think anything above that age, they've just got other interests, so they're yeah. not really into it. If they're it. not into it already by that age, yeah. they're probably not going to. But that's not to say if, yeah. if a 15-year-old showed up and said, hey, I want to learn how to skate, I, I would definitely. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. I, that's I, fun. I had a 30 year old, I think, reach out and ask. And I was like, heck yeah, come yeah. on in. I said, we might not pay much attention to the 30 year old as we're going right. to the five year old, but we'll figure something yeah. out and we can, yeah. we can get like some one on one type stuff, yeah. you know? So, so what's yeah. the first thing that you show them, teach them? Um, foot placement. Okay. Where, where to place your foot on the board, how to push. I, 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 let me start that over. The first thing that you got to do when it comes to teaching kids how to skateboard is figure out which foot they're more comfortable with. I was just going to ask, front. does it matter if they're righty, lefty? That doesn't matter. It's just a matter of which one's more comfortable yeah. in the mm. front and which one they're more comfortable pushing with. Yeah. Okay. So, you, so probably an older person would probably be more righty, lefty, you know, but yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Not necessarily. Just whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. Yeah, because we would know our strengths I stood, I think as 39-year-olds, right? I think right? I would stand on my right foot and push with my left. And I would do the opposite. Would you? Yeah. Because yeah. my right foot, I feel like it's stronger, so I would want that one to push, and my left one would yeah. balance. Well, see, I think my right foot is stronger, and that would balance better. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with her on this Yeah? One. Yeah. yeah. But I, I want to okay. go fast down the hill. You want to go fast? The hill will get you going Meredith fast. Has a I think wish. I posted about it. I'm like, I would break a hip. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I rollerbladed, I took off down my country road out in the middle of nowhere. And there was some very small hills, but they were very fast. And I just said, F this and went into the bushes. <laughs> like, I had no business being out there on rollerblades. I don't know why I do it, but I always stop with my knees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Why? why? The first thing I think of is to squat down and let my knees yeah. up. I hope that's going to hurt later. Yeah, I try Terrible. to go on my butt. Pads. Oh, that's a good pads. idea. Yeah. yeah. I don't do that. that yeah. I mean, it's, I'm not, I'm too cool for pads. Yeah, you know what we I mean? were way too cool for pads. <laughs> I don't either, but I, I do suggest if you're going to be doing some stuff to at least wear a helmet. Yeah, helmet. no, for sure. We have to say that, especially because maybe some of your young students are listening. We have yeah. to behave ourselves. Make sure you wear a helmet, elbow, knee, right? I feel like wrist. I need or to wrist. Yeah. My what do they? What do they? What do they have to wear to be in the class? How about that? Uh, they don't have to wear anything. They okay. Need, they need to have their parents sign a waiver. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not so. responsible for that. Yeah, yeah, bones. yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> well, no. As as a guy that's been skateboarding for you know, 36, 37 years, helmets restrict my vision. Yeah. The wrist guards, I, I can't, I feel uncomfortable in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to tell some kid who's just learning how to skate to put knee pads, elbow pads, wrist pads, yeah. and a helmet on. Especially if his parents aren't already, or their parents. I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. If their parents aren't telling them to, to put the stuff on. Right. You know, maybe that's just how the kid skates. You know, they, yeah. they, they don't wear the elbow pads sure. or the knee pads. So, and then throwing it on could, could mess with them somehow. But yeah. I do suggest the, the, the elbow pads and the knee pads, just in case you fall, you don't want to smack your elbow on the hard concrete. And I hit right. my and elbow on a cooler door today and I almost <laughs> cried. <laughs> I smashed my little knuckle right here getting drinks out of the fridge for tonight. I was like, that smarts. I could feel it in my teeth. It hurts so bad. Can you imagine me on a skateboard? Uh, I'd be like, look what happened. <laughs> Holding up my finger. What happened? <laughs> Holding up your my elbow. My arm is crooked now. <laughs> my arm oh, is just God. hanging. <laughs> so tell us about the shop. What, what would you like to know? Um, um, what do you sell? What do you stay up with the trends? Like, tell us just when people walk into the shop, what do they expect? So when you walk into the shop, it, we're a small smaller shop i think we're probably 400 maybe 500 square feet if even that yeah um well you don't need that much room i don't need a whole lot yeah we right. live in that yeah. yeah this is true this is true it's tiny City, homes right? and tiny shops yeah. there we go but we've got everything that that you would need we're not just a skate shop we just happen to carry everything that's skate related i mean i've got uh 
uh, Dickies brand clothing out of oh, there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, shoes, socks, uh, clothing. What's- What's the famous shoes these days yeah, for yeah, skaters? Yeah. What's the is trends? it still Vans? Uh, no, no, no. It's sadly it's Nike. Oh really? Oh, yeah. I'm not a Nike wow. fan. You are though, right? I'll wear Nikes. You, I, yeah. I can't. They hurt my knees. Do they? Yeah, they hurt my hips, my knees, my <laughs> fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should put some pads on. <laughs> Maybe just to go to work. <laughs> Maybe oh. I can buy some knee pads and elbow pads there from John's go. shop just there to go to work. Go. We've got some. <laughs> Come on in. Got helmets too, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I though. may need so that. So what? Like, what kind of Nikes? I'm thinking uh, of Air Force Ones. Like, yeah, right. Are or they like flat? the low, the low? Well, they just whatever they call the Nike SB skateboarding. Oh, okay. Yeah, they I didn't even a, know they had that. Hmm. Oh yeah, they got a whole team of people. Go back that, to Vans, kids. Those are the cool shoes. And then is it Nike um, gear and clothing too, or is that something else? Um. Well, I mean, Nike just the swoosh itself is pretty Everything. popular. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. They just want to grab hold of everything. No don't champion. They? You don't have no champion brand. No, no. <laughs> That's we, getting awfully popular nowadays again. Again, I right? got made fun of in school for wearing <laughs> it, but whatever. That was like a Walmart brand, it and all Kmart. of a sudden, it was <laughs> Kmart. It was. I remember that. Yes. yes. And now they're coming back. You can't even get a hoodie. It's like a hundred dollars for a hoodie. Yeah. I oh, was I like, pff, I should have saved my shit from. Kmart's like, why didn't we hold school? out? Yeah. Right. They'd still be in business. <laughs> they would be. Jeez, that and Joe Boxer, champion of Joe oh, Boxer man, you get yeah. from Kmart. Do you sell Joe Boxers or no? Yeah. No. No underwear. No underwear. No underwear. <laughs> Gotta bring your own underwear. He'll put everything else on you. <laughs> yeah, we like I said, we've got pants, shirts, hats, you name it. So if they want to look like a skateboarder, they come to your shop. If they want to skateboard, they come to your shop. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very cool. What sets you apart from other shops? As far as well, I, I don't know to be honest with you. What well, that's that's a tough question. Yeah, probably um, being a cool owner. Probably. Yeah. Well, I've met a lot of the owners. They're all pretty cool. Oh. Okay. Um. What sets us apart? That's that's an interesting <laughs> question. That I've never. Really that was like a true you really, job you interview really question. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? Why do you want to work here? What sets you <laughs> apart from everyone else? He's like, oh, now I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Like I said, just passion. You, yes. You, you can go places and you can see some of the owners that own the skate shop. There's uh, a few that I've been to in the southeast Wisconsin area where you walk in and nobody talks to you. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. in there for 15, 20 minutes and not a single person says hi. Oh, that's weird. Oh, it's very weird. Yeah. You don't really feel comfortable spending your money there. Right. So, but if, sure. you, if you come into my shop, I, I'm going to talk. I might even offer you a beer if you're old enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, watch skate videos, just hang out. I'll sit there and I'll talk for hours about skateboarding. Yeah. So I think it's just the personal touch and, and the passion is there. So Love it. Yeah. Well, that's fun. So from someone that doesn't, or from some ones that really don't know skateboards, what kind of skateboards do you have? Like, what are there different sizes? Can you kind of just like go through the whole thing with us? So as far as skateboards go, I don't really carry a lot of uh, long boards. I have some mm-hmm. just because I know that people do ride them and... You know, but when you buy a, a longboard, it's it's kind of like a bike. It's going to last you for a very long time unless you just completely abuse the thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the the skateboards that you would use for more of like the the tricks and stuff, we carry we carry as many variety of brands as possible. I like to keep most of the stuff in the shop local. So I've got oh. a lot of friends down in Chicago that own skateboard companies. Oh. And I carry their stuff in my shop. I've got some friends out in Phoenix. Um, actually this, this is an interesting story that you guys might like before I got into, uh, uh, it, which is what I do for my nine to five. Mm -hmm. I was a car salesman and down, and down in Phoenix, I had a friend of mine. I'll say his name. His name was Michael Richmond. And we had a car salesman diet. We would eat fast food all the time. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And about a year ago, I get a message from him and he's like, why in the hell didn't you tell me how awesome skateboarding was? Oh, I said, what do you mean? And he goes, dude, I started skateboarding. I lost 60 pounds skateboarding. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. So he got so into it. He started his own skateboard brand. So I carry that in my shop oh, now too. Cool. So and what is his brand? Of, it's called Decade. Very Decade. cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a it's a it's a unicorn farting a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's awesome. Our kind of brand. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> For sure. So yeah, like I said, I, I, I like to keep local stuff because it 
uh, you know, you can meet the owners, you find the story out about, you know, just the, the company itself. So, and I still also carry the, the national stuff too, yeah. because let's face it, that's what a lot of the kids want us to come in and yeah. get, you know, that zero deck or toy S- machine. So like you don't, I don't know how this works. So do you buy, is there a lot of different sizes of decks? There are. So you can start out typically uh, a seven and a half inch wide deck. Okay. And then you can get them up uh, to 10 inches wide. Okay. And typically how wide it gets is going to uh, uh, dictate length of the board as well. Okay. So the thinner it is, maybe the shorter the wheelbase and the shorter the actual deck. Like some of the ones that I'm getting in here uh, uh, this week for uh, some of the kids that are going to be in the the skate classes, like if they want to buy them for their kids, um, they're like seven inches wide and they're they're a 28 inch board, which is what I bought for my three daughters, something yeah. along that line. But me, I ride an eight inch deck and it's about 32 inches long. So, so do, mm. it doesn't go off of like height weight on which board no. you should get. It no. goes off of like what you want to do with the board. Uh, like you, if you want to do a lot of tricks or if you're just using it to cruise around, kind of. I, I will. I will ask those questions. Like, you know, how long have you been skating? Yeah. Is this a mode of transportation? You know, I, how do you intend on using it? Yeah. That sort of thing, just to get it, get an idea. Um, but it's personal preference. Okay. Like I tell people, I ride a skateboard that's eight inches, and they look at me like I'm crazy because nobody rides anything smaller than an eight five. It seems like. Oh, mm. okay. They like them wider. Yeah. Did you skateboard here? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you said you live close. Yeah, I'm like, like I only live. T- yeah, I was gonna say I only live 15 minutes away. It's 30 minutes if I'm on my skateboard. <laughs> right. I don't That'd go take that me fast. Half a day. I'd be like, push. Three it. o'clock. I'm leaving push now. It. Three o'clock. See you at five thirty. <laughs> I'd be by the time I'd get close, I'd be on my belly. Oh, you God. know, like pushing Just it that way. On it. Yeah. Going for a hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly there's a lot of them but you have to go up hills oh, before you yeah. get down sick that's uh, when you walk i would yeah. never make it <laughs> there's quite a few people that like, do skateboarding please somebody come here. pick me up please <laughs> you know i i didn't know that this was a thing anymore but just a couple weeks ago maybe even before we talked i was just downtown here by our little town and I saw a van, and all of a sudden I looked behind, and someone was skateboarding, hanging onto the van. Stop. Oh, no. Yeah, going through the intersection. So dangerous. So dangerous. If you hit a rock. Oh, I was yeah. like, I didn't even know that was a thing anymore, because we were just talking about Back to the Future, and I saw it. I have to ask you, have you ever seen the video? It's an old <laughs> internet video. And the kids are messing around in the in the driveway with the skateboard, and the kid skids a rock, and he falls, and then... You know, the kid videotaping is like, let's take a piss on the rock. Have you ever seen that video? I have not. I have not. <laughs> Gotta see that video. They and he's like crying and he's like, oh, and he's like, come on, let's piss on the rock. Like, <laughs> this stupid rock, you know? <laughs> and you, like, he's like videotaping and you see the big skid mark. He's like, look, there it is. There's the rock that fucked you up. Let's piss on it. <laughs> is it like a, like a group pissing on the no, rock? No, no, they never piss on the rock. Okay. It was like they were in their driveway. What, is it a commercial for something? No, it was just a funny video I saw oh, on the I was internet. hoping to see like, like so on the long. Super Bowl commercials I don't know or why something. I thought of that. I mean, obviously I thought of it because we're talking skateboards, but like I haven't thought about that video in probably 10 years, you know? That's hilarious. Yeah. I'm going to have to find it. How, yeah. do you, how do you feel about the guy that went viral drinking the, what was he drinking? Oh, the oh, cranberry, the cranberry juice. juice. Yeah, with the Fleetwood Mac song. Everybody knows Good that for guy. Him. Yeah, yeah, right? That was cool. Good for Fleetwood Mac. I think we all celebrated his win in that, right? Like yeah. they bought him a truck. Oh, yeah. And like yeah, he got all filled it with cranberry stuff. juice and like, yeah. Yeah. No, I think I, they, they interviewed someone from, uh, no, not Fleetwood Mac. Who? What was the song? I'm sorry. My yeah, it was it Fleetwood Mac. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I think they interviewed him and one of the guys, and they said, you know, we we thought that maybe no one really heard our songs anymore, and then here we are with all oh. these downloads again now because of it. See, so and then did he you got hear? popular, and so did the band came around again. Universal Music just took all their songs off of TikTok. We yeah, had, we is had it? a couple of videos muted because we used a song. And they own it, so they took it. Like, how stupid are you? How many people discover music off of these videos and you're going to take all the music away? That's the dumbest uh, thing ever. Oh, believe yeah. me, I've got a bunch of issues with the, the whole music industry. Do you? Yeah. Well, I, I Let's talk to, about that. I go to a lot of concerts. And, yeah. you know, for me to go to a, a show, it's going to be 50, 60 bucks a ticket. If I get my wife a ticket, it's going to be 50, yeah. 60 bucks. Mm-hmm. And between the fees, it's going to be another 50 or 60 bucks. 
that could have been another ticket that another right. fan could have bought and went and seen a live show. Yeah. So it just, the fees and all that crap. We were just talking awful. about that the other day. Like when I was a kid and you wanted to go to a concert, it was like 20 bucks was a lot to spend. Yeah. Maybe 40, you got like good seats. Now Taylor Swift. Mm. Oh my oh. God. Yeah. Speaking like of Taylor Swift, grand. the average Super Bowl tickets eighty two hundred dollars. Is that the average, average of her ticket? And that's including two? standing room only. Yes. Too. Oh my Ugh. god! For the Super Bowl, Sick. I just spent twenty dollars for squares. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe to win some bourbon. I'm like, that's fine. I'll watch uh, it here at home. By the way, le- legal gambling over here. Yeah. <laughs> legal gamble. For over anyone's here. listening, right, it's legal. It's legal. <laughs> So let's talk about the evolution of skateboarding. What what changes have you seen, or what do you wish we still did? In or, the last thirty years, yeah, in the last thirty years, what you got what, some uh, time there? <laughs> and you've seen quite a few changes, but it's mostly aesthetics. You know, yeah. you, you went from the the old hammerhead boards from the eighties to and the Jenko jeans. Oh God, yes. Yeah. Well, that that would have been an early nineties yeah. thing. Yeah. In fact, there's a there's a big group on Facebook called Small Pants or Big Pants, Small Wheels. <laughs> and you see some of the old videos and it's guys wearing those jinkos yeah. and their wheels are like yeah. that. That's so they're funny. So, they're so, small. Well, they're so tiny. I used to call them uh, bearing condoms. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were literally, it's just a little sheet of urethane around oh the bearing. Oh my yeah, God. That's funny. Yeah. yeah you want to talk about hitting a pebble and falling. Yeah. You hit a, you hit a little grain of sand and you're Ugh. getting thrown off your board with Oh my gosh, things. you'd be peeing all the time. Pissing <laughs> on rocks. <laughs> Pissing on rocks. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it, it's mostly aesthetic as far as like the, the look that people went through. Yeah. And the boards have kind of changed a little bit. There's still there's still the uh the popsicle, but now they're starting to bring back some of the uh um the older shapes and the reissues on like some of those 30, 35 year old decks. Yeah. Um what are so, the older shapes? Like that hammerhead. Oh, okay, comes, okay. You know, got the single single uh, tail oh, okay. that comes up okay. a little bit and it's a flat in the front. Hmm. Yeah, so those are coming back. They're fairly popular, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. People want to look cool. Who was your inspiration skateboarding besides your brother? Oh, my brother wasn't an inspiration. <laughs> in fact, it... it, it if Let's I, hope he doesn't listen. Uh, oh, he doesn't. And even if he did, he would laugh. Because I, I don't think I ever saw him on a skateboard. No? No, he, he just gave me his. Oh, uh, okay. Because like I said, he was he was seven or yeah. nine years older than me. So when I was like he's six. He's like, I don't want to hang out with you. Go away. Yeah, he's here, like 15, have a skateboard. Here, right around the block, kid. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, You know, obviously, you grew up watching Tony Hawk. I was just going to say yeah, Tony Hawk. That's the only skateboarder I know besides Kevin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Isn't but, there Mullen or something too? Rodney Mullen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've heard of it. See, you know more than I do. Nope, nope. Yeah, but uh, once once you started getting into the to the sport, and you know, Mark Gonzalez was just somebody mm-hmm. that took it to an all new level. Rodney Mullen. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, it was more like the teams that were out there, like Alien Workshop, mm. uh, Creature Skateboards. Um, believe it or not, one, so I grew up in New Mexico and one of the coolest and still to this day, um, like brands and, and skateboards out there was, uh, beer city out of Milwaukee. Oh, cool. Yeah. They just like, you would open up Thrasher magazine and you would see an, uh, an ad for beer city and it was like, holy shit, that's what, that's what skateboarding is. They didn't give a crap. Yeah. yeah. And still to this day, they don't. And it's awesome. And they've been around for 30 years. Yeah. You know? wow. Like 92 or 94, somewhere right in there. And, you know, now I'm, I, I own a shop. I'm close to Milwaukee. I've had conversations with the guy, yeah. you yeah. know, like via email, that sort of stuff, uh, uh, social media. And yeah, they're just, it's cool. It's, it's really cool to see all of that stuff. But growing up, you saw kind of like what the teams were doing and then you started following some of the writers, but I was, I was in New Mexico in the early nineties. So I didn't really follow like a set skateboard yeah. type mm-hmm. of thing. I just did my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then looked at magazines, like the skateboard magazines to, to see what was kind of possible. So, and then back to your earlier question about the progressions that you've seen 
Instagram is a huge game changer now because mm-hmm. you can see the pros skating and they'll put a, a clip out of some of the tricks that they're doing. You don't have to wait for the video to yeah. come out like you used to back in the day. Yeah. It's just instant. It is. Instant, instant yeah. gratification. We talked about yeah. that before. Yep, yep, yep. So let's talk about some of the tricks. Can you explain some tricks and like maybe some simple ones that the young ones learn? And then did you some... bring your tech deck for I've your fingers never been so able you to <laughs> show us? I've never been able to use one of the. In fact, I was having a conversation about that yesterday. Those were so popular for a while. When they came out, I was already skateboarding, yeah. so and my fingers weren't coordinated. <laughs> so I was like, "You guys can keep that. I'm just going to ride my skateboard." Like, look, I'm going to be a real skateboarder. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I did. So I never got into the tech deck stuff. Um, but like tricks that kids should learn. Know, yeah. Uh, just your basic Ollie. Okay. Just, I, I tell all of the kids that come in and buy skateboards, whether they're first time skating or they've owned a board before, but they're not like into the tricks and, and stuff. Once you learn how to Ollie with your skateboard, it no longer it, it transcends being a skateboard and it, it comes it, it becomes something different because you don't have to stop at a curb and pick it up mm. you don't have you don't have to stop at this other thing and pick it up you can just ollie and keep going and it just it makes it more fluid and it makes it more more fun more of an extension of you versus just a, a mode of transportation yeah. sure so that's just step on the back and it pops up yeah just right kinda. yeah yeah okay Jump it, kind of. Jump it. I oh, guess. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Very good. So, what's the, what's the um, hardest trick? I don't even know how to talk skateboardy. <laughs> I mean, that that's gonna vary for a lot of people. Yeah. But, um, your more techy stuff like flips into like grinds or nose slides, yeah. flip out. Those are. Those are hard because you got to get your foot set up, and if you're doing specific things, you got to use your back foot to flip out, that sort of stuff. So I'd say that's more of the harder stuff. Yeah, that's my toxic trait. <laughs> We're gonna we go up it. to his shop. I'm gonna buy a skateboard because oh, that's what God. we do, right? Is we support local. And next and week, <laughs> Meredith will be in crutches, a full body cast because support your local hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely be like, what's the hardest trick? I'm doing it. How many bones have you broken? None. Oh, wow. Oh, good for knock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock on, knock on plastic, yeah. knock on wood. <laughs> we're, we're at that age. It might happen soon. Oh. <laughs> but you said you've slown, you've slown, 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 <laughs> slowed down a little on the like. A lot. I mean. Doing I, the flips and. I and, used to skateboard for like four or five hours a day, yeah. four or five days a week. Now I'll go skate for two hours a week. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. So do you, do you miss it or do you? <clears throat> oh, I miss in- it like crazy. Yeah. Okay. That's why I opened up a shop. Yeah. Right. So now I mean, I, but you got life nine to five and then you got the shop and you have, you know, and there's family. Well, right? now, now family. I get to live vicariously through the community. I was sure. Say, sure. Yeah. Now you get to hear all the kids stories. Tell me what you did today, kiddos. <laughs> right. Right. And do your kids hang cool out at the shop? No, they don't like the shop. It's what? No. The, the young ones do. Yeah. They, they like it, but for about five minutes, then it's yeah. like, and then they're done. Right. Then they're yeah. well, they're like, your did business. you bring my DS? We owned a tanning salon down in Roselle. The kids hated it. They yeah. hated going down yeah. there, you know, even though they could do whatever they wanted and they were free to do, yeah. you know, sweep the floors. No, I'm <laughs> go clean, they hated it. Go clean bed three. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely no fun, but they just hated going because it was our business. Yeah. You know? So I could see that. Yeah. Well, you know? I mean, you Dad's got to be serious. You yeah. got the couch I, where you sit down, put your shoes on. I have the kids sit there just because I don't want them knocking stuff. Of yeah. course. Of course. And the wintertime, it's really, it's sucks for them because yeah. you know you got to be inside so might yeah. as well stay at home where you've got a tv of and course. tablets and that sort yeah. of stuff yeah but in the summertime they'll come to the shop and they'll ride the skateboards up and down the, the driveway and the sidewalk and yeah. Yeah. yeah fun that's great that's fun about how many boards do you have at the shop to sell? It's I, I just counted last week because I was Because you knew inventory. I was going to ask you. <laughs> no, I, I've got 175 wow. good. Oh, good. That's yeah. awesome. Well, I do... Uh, I, I've got my own shop deck. So the the way that everything worked was uh, three years ago, I was starting to get the brand going, like just as the skateboard brand. And I was going out to the skate shops in the area and I kept getting told, you know, well, who, who rides for you? I'm like, nobody, we're just starting. 
I'll go, we'll come back when someone rides for you. Oh, yeah. And I'd go shop to shop to shop. I probably called and stopped at no less than 10 different shops in, in the area, yeah. you know? And uh, um, just kept getting the same thing. I couldn't make any inroads. Hmm. So I said, screw it. I'm opening up my own skate shop. Yeah. yeah. So what I did was I, I transitioned from fiction skateboards to fiction skate shop. Okay. And I used some of the graphics that I was making for my board to put in other shops as my shop deck now. So, oh, I've, so yeah. I've, got, I've got three different shop decks in there right now. So, oh, yeah. that's cool. So I don't go on Facebook often, but I did snoop your Facebook before tonight. And I saw that you have this like package where you can come in, bring your skateboard and you do what to it to fix it up mm. Put on new wheels. Snowboards. Or? Oh, that's snowboards. Yes. Mm. Yeah, we, okay. We just got into snowboard repair. So oh, okay. if you need a waxing or oh, yeah. uh, like the edge is sharpened or maybe even like a, uh, you know, you you were coming down the mountain and you hit a rock and it just took a nice gash out. We'll we'll fix all that stuff. Oh, up. cool. Yeah. Okay. So I never tried snowboarding. Perfect spot to be by Wilmot. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And what's the other one that's a little bit harder? Like a black dot. Di- what's the uh, not the black diamond? No, that's what they are. But isn't there something else a little bit up north? Cascade. Um, oh yeah, maybe. I, I can't think Alpine. of Alpine. Alpine, and there's then there's e- there's one more even more. I can't think of it right now, but I'm sure you get all those people coming by yeah. you on the way home or whatever. So that's awesome. Do you think snowboarding is easier than skateboarding? Have you done that? I, I've done both, and I'm going to say that they're completely different. Just I've heard that. For, different well, difficulties. Yeah. Different difficulties, and I mean, your feet are strapped in a certain position uh, while you're on a snowboard. So yeah. y- get comfortable with where you're standing yeah. because that's how it's going to be the whole time you're on that snowboard. Yeah, that's probably a good thigh workout. Yeah, huh? I feel like I feel like falling in the snow with my knees would be softer than falling well, on the no. gravel. Sometimes, no. but it gets packed down. It hurts. Yeah, so. that's that's true, right? Because everybody riding on it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. And then if you've got a sunny day and it it. it gets a little icy yeah Yeah. and then it freezes oh yeah no all right so not gonna do skateboarding and no snowboarding let's just stick with like tubing down there (laughs) (laughs) down my front yeah we'll just stick to that in the summer and the winter winter. it's much safer sometimes we set up a tarp out here and we just go down we do a slip and slide slide slide. oh yeah heck yeah heck yeah there might be a little drinking involved we won't say and you get a little grass burns but it's okay (laughs) that's at the end right yeah um before we're done can we talk about the artwork that's on these? Like, oh. is there a, a popular artist or how do you pick what's going to sell? And does pe- do people come in and say, do you have this board with this artist? You know, can we talk about that? Uh, as far as artwork goes, I, so when you get some of the, uh, the reprints and that sort of stuff, that's when you can get some of, you know, your more popular artists. Like, uh, I, I'd have to check and see if he's doing anything these days, but I don't know if you remember Pusshead. He did a lot of uh, uh, Misfits artwork. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he, back in the 80s, did, I believe, some graphics for skateboards. Okay. But nowadays, it's you don't really, you don't really see who the artist is on the board so much as you know, the guy who's writing the board itself. Sure, sure. So unless it's known that 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 skateboarder does their own artwork for that board, Mm. um, kids aren't coming in saying, you know, oh, I want that, I want that skateboard by Rembrandt. It's, you know. Yeah. It's, oh, you got Toy Machine or Primitive or, you know, Mm -hmm. that sort of thing. And then, then they will, you know, take a look and see what, what you have in the size that they ride and if there's a graphic that they like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. I feel like they always put a lot of stickers on their boards too. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, when I started skateboarding, yeah. like heavy, heavy, and I was breaking a board every like three or four weeks, yeah. I just started buying blank decks because... Did you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was doing so many tr- board slides, nose slides, and tail slides, I didn't care about the graphics. Yeah. yeah. So. And it, that's actually one thing that I have brought back. I do blank decks out of my shop for... Mm like $37, $38 because oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're cheap. They're really, let me rephrase that, they're inexpensive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you throw some stickers on there. Yeah. You spend five bucks on some stickers and that thing looks like, a, you know, it's your own artwork at that point. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You have a sale going on right now, right? I do. Yeah, what do you have going on? 
Um, so I was just like, I couldn't sleep one night and I, re- <laughs> I remembered that this month was leap year. Oh yeah. And so one of my favorite videos from back in the day skateboarding was, uh, uh, jump off a building by toy machine. Mm-hmm. So I just got on the phone and called toy machine up and spoke with their sales rep and I'm doing a, uh, <laughs> a leap off a building. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's a sell on all toy machine foundation skateboards and pig wheels Amazing. in the shop, uh, through the 29th. This month. Oh, yes. very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So go check year. it out, folks. Go check it out. So tell everyone again, all about you, please. Like where, where they can find you and all that numbers, websites, Emails, whatever. Websites, yeah. It's Facebook, Instagram. Uh, yeah. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram, uh, fiction skateboards, or Fiction Skate Shop, uh, F-I-X-I-O-N, you'll either see uh, the light bulb, which is our classic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. cool. That's cool. That's our classic uh, uh, design. Or if you go to Instagram, you'll see uh, uh, an old homeless guy with uh, a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. It's a drawing. It's Yeah, uh, yeah it was taken from, uh, so we've got two different two different designs that, that are incorporated in that. I've got a, a subway cart that's tagged up and it says fiction, but the wheels are missing or the the, the, the rims on the on yeah. the subway cart and it's on cinder blocks. Oh, oh cool. So I was getting drunk at a bar like <laughs> ten years ago, twelve years ago, and I was I was saying to myself It's always the best stories. I was like, What in the hell ever happened to those rims? Yeah. Where did they go? So I've got a picture in that very bar that I had that that, that thought. <laughs> I had somebody draw the outside of that bar, and it's an old homeless guy with his dog, and the rims are for sale. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, that's funny. That's awesome. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. Amazing. Any other questions? I don't have any other questions. I don't know anything. I should point out, though, we are at 214 North Lake Avenue in Twin Lakes. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot that part. What's the most popular saying in the skateboard land? (laughs) Oh, Wow, Meredith. Like, sk- like skate or die or like. Hang 10. Hang. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I, I don't understand. Mine don't- would be like land it or eat it. <laughs> no, yours was ate it. Ate, ate it. it. Oh, already did. <laughs> already ate it. Look at my knees. <laughs> no, I, I don't understand the lingo that the uh, some of the younger kids come no. in and say. I'm like, what? That's sus. Thrashing and slashing. <laughs> Yeah, so I I, right. work, I work with some twenty five year old kids, and I have no idea what they're saying no, most of the yeah. time. Thirty nine and crashing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. amazing! Well, thanks for yeah. coming. Hey, thank this you for so having me. This was so fun. Me. Yay! Now we gotta talk music real quick. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, when we're done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> bye. Thanks, John. Bye. Happy we'll talk Friday to you next week. All right, have a good one. <laughs>